What's up guys, I've taken like uh, basically almost a whole week off here in London to recover after hard work and I had a bit of a cold, but I'm back at it again today, back at the photography and I'm gonna do something I haven't done in like five years. I've spent a lot of time in London over the past year, but I haven't done any photography and I certainly haven't photographed any of the iconic locations. So I'm heading down to central London now and this evening I'm gonna photograph one of the most iconic locations in London. Let's go. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. I made it down to the central. Where I'm staying is actually Fulham, which is a full 40 minutes away. And one of the hardest things about London life, living in London, is everything. Seems so far away, 40 minutes to get anywhere, and then there's always something going on. So, I'm not sure what's happening here. Looks like a marathon's being run. So I'm really not sure what that's about, but I know that Usain Bolt was here running a race or something yesterday. So maybe there's a big track and field event going on in London. There's always something going on in London. And hopefully it's cleared up before shooting sunset because I was hoping to shoot Tower Bridge, which would just be right there. And the marathon seems to be going right in front of it. So that would be tricky to shoot with a marathon going on. But I think, I think, and I hope they'll clear it up. If not, the beauty of London, the absolute beauty of London is there's a million things to photograph in this city. So I'm gonna do a little bit of wandering, a little bit of location scouting, and then shoot around sunset. So I'm down along the Thames River now, and along with the marathon, one of my like concerns about shooting today is that it's Sunday, and it's gonna be busier than usual down here along the river. It's kind of packed. It's the summer, it's August, it's the weekend. It, there's just lots of people out, so it might be a bit of a challenge to shoot, but I think it's gonna be fun anyway. It looks like the light's gonna be amazing, so let's move towards Tower Bridge. I hope the clouds stick around and some of the people kind of go home early. Walking under London Bridge, you recognize the song that's playing? Kind of cool. I made it to Tower Bridge and there's no fewer than 43 billion people here trying to get photos and the spatial awareness of human beings on holiday is shockingly bad. In general, there's like three locations you can shoot Tower Bridge from. There's many more, but three really good ones. One is City Hall, which I'm basically standing in front of. It's like a park right that way. The bridge is there, obviously. Park there, that's like the classic shot. But it's hard to get a little bit of a foreground. Um, you can also go to London Bridge, which is way back that way. That's a cool composition. I'm not gonna shoot it today though, but it's a cool composition because you get this boat 
in the photo. I think it's the HMS Belfast. You get that boat in your shot. And then one of my favorite locations to shoot Tower Bridge from is on the bridge itself. Now, the last time I was here was like five years ago. I was kind of new to photography and my images were kind of lacking. They were okay technically, but they weren't really great compositions. So maybe I'll show you those images right now. And then the goal today is to improve on them. And the goal on them obviously too is to try to find like a composition that might be a little bit different than the usual. It's really easy to shoot the same old images of iconic places like this. But I think today I'm gonna try to like search around this area. I've got an hour until sunset and just try to find like a creative foreground or maybe a way to mix these people in, like actually use the crowds to my advantage and just come up with something a little bit different than that typical shot of Tower Bridge. So. Let's get the gear out, let's start shooting from here, and then working our way towards the bridge as sunset hits. I'm bailing on that location. It's cool, but with no clouds, it kind of just kills it. So I'm gonna run down to the waterfront and kind of set up for that classic image. Key for like a classic image like this, don't just shoot the bridge, find something to put in the foreground. There's some like boats docked. I think they might make a nice anchor, pun intended, for this image. The light's gone legit terrible over the bridge, not a cloud in sight. The one benefit, the one really cool thing that just happened though, is a big boat just went under it. And so the gates opened, I guess the gates of the bridge, does that make sense? The bridge opened up for the boat to go under it. And I got kind of a long exposure photo of the bridge open and then the boat shooting under it. And I think that's kind of cool, even though there's no clouds. It's something a little bit different, something a little special. We're gonna talk positives again. One of the really cool things I think about this is the opportunity to try to like challenge myself here. Cool, iconic locations like this are kind of easy to photograph. And when you don't have a nice sky, when the conditions aren't right, it kind of forces you to think outside the box a little bit. So that's what I'm doing right now. Wandering around, gonna shoot some compositions. We'll show you guys what I come up with. And then once the light goes down, I'm gonna go right onto the bridge and try to get some shots up there. So something just happened that's happened a couple times recently in that somebody just walked up to me kind of in the vicinity and tried to take a photo of me on the sly. I actually did take a photo of me on the sly. And that's cool. You wanna take a photo of me, that's fine. I don't, doesn't bother me at all. But come and say hi. If you recognize me from the vlog or something like that, you recognize me from social media, come and say hi, come chat. I'm totally cool with that, totally open to that and love meeting people, love talking photography with people. So, so if you run into me in the streets of your city, come and say hi. Don't just take a photo on the sly, although you're welcome to if you want. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I totally jinxed myself with the light. It is beautiful in a lot of directions, just not where I want it to be. Shouldn't have said anything earlier, but I'm gonna climb up onto London Bridge now, shoot a couple compositions. So I'm legit sat in the middle of the road trying to get some shots after the light goes down and I legit sat on my six stop ND filter 
not good man those things are like 150 bucks and money's kind of tight right now until I get paid from a couple clients so that so sucks so sucks I just literally sat on 150 bucks such an idiot I'm done shooting the bridge and even if the light didn't cooperate, I had way too much fun tonight shooting. It's been like a full week since I got the camera gear out and went and shot something. So it just felt really good. It was kind of like a little bit hard getting back on the pony, like getting back out and shooting and filming after taking a full week off. But I feel so good today. I feel like, I feel myself. I feel really myself, which is awesome. You can see behind me, there's like a white spot in the sky that's the moon and it's full and i didn't really do any planning today but i'm betting that it would have been a really cool photo from this side of tower bridge to shoot with the moon there's like there's a gate open i'm not sure if i'm allowed to be in here but there's like waterfront back there you can see tower bridge there and the moon's right above it so around sunset i think that would have been epic but you win you lose some um, I'm done shooting as I mentioned and walking back towards home But I wanted to show you guys the view from London Bridge of Tower Bridge You can't really shoot all three locations in one shoot But I thought I'd take you there and show you what it looks like anyway, so let's go town in this less than fashionable cubby hole of the San Francisco Examiner. These editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer. When the telephone connection between these two terminals is made... So guys, that behind me is the view from here at London Bridge. London Bridge, view of Tower Bridge. It's a decent view, especially if you had a bit of a long lens at sunset. And maybe one of these days I'll come back and photograph this location as well. Um, I'm heading home. Today has been a really good day even though the light didn't behave it was just so so good to get back out and shoot again I was kind of feeling like I'm in a bit of a summer funk and I've heard a couple other photographers I heard I think it was Thomas Heaton I think I heard Thomas Heaton talk about the summer funk summer's amazing in life I love summer and as a kid growing up I loved summer couldn't get enough of it but as a photographer summers can just wear you out there's people everywhere. Sunsets at 9 p.m. and sunrise is 4.30. You don't sleep. You don't have a social life. And it can be really tough. Summers can really wear down photographers. And I think I was definitely feeling that summer crunch, I guess. But now I'm feeling totally reinvigorated and stoked on life and really excited to show you more of London, show you guys more of the UK. I've got maybe a couple more videos from London coming up and then I'm heading on a road trip to Scotland which is going to be awesome. So there's like a month worth of vlogs from the UK coming and it's just going to be so much fun I think. So I hope to see you guys on tomorrow's episode where I'm going to be shooting sunrise here in London town. And I'll catch you guys there. Peace.